Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. I've had some friends whose boyfriends, husbands, and or partners have provided for them. And while that's great, what happens when situations change mm -hmm. and uh, it's time for them to go back to work? Mm -hmm. I gotta tell you, some of them almost appear to be allergic. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so is it okay uh, to be a kept woman, kept mm. man, or whatever? Or when does that become a problem? Does it do, do more harm? Or does it do any good? Say, you know, I've never had this problem mm. of, uh, you know, being kept. Okay. No, I've never had. Now, I had dreams of being kept. Okay, then. Uh, it never worked out for me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, I'm for real, like, when I was in high school, I really wanted, I'm like, man, I want me, like, I'm going to tell you what my mentality was. Okay, as that's a okay. You said girl. high school. High school. That's I was all like, right. I want me a little dope boy who can just take care of me. <laughs> Swear to God. Uh-uh, the street pharmacist. I want, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I, want, I want a hair and bone. Um, to be sponsored, and I wanted a beeper and all of that, but you know, God didn't have that in my favor. No, 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 no. Um, no. So uh, that just wasn't me. But no, on the more serious note, but I, that really was me at that time. Uh, I've never, you know, been in a situation like that. Mm -hmm. I do know some women who mm -hmm. are, uh, are kept, and then they just be like, oh, allergic to the yeah. work. Like I can't do yeah. anything myself. Yeah. And you know, uh, it's 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 really baffling to me because I just know how to work and know how to work hard, and I uh, don't expect anybody to to do anything for me because I'm married now because there's a partnership. But yeah, I, that's I think that's deplorable actually. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Well, that's all right. <laughs> well, I've I've always had uh, except for my first husband, I've always had men who gave good gifts. Mm -hmm. However, I, I've always worked my whole life. I don't think I would be able to be that woman who just sits running, mm -hmm. does nothing, and just sits idle. Uh, my mother always said, always reserve something for yourself. Mm -hmm. So with that, it's like, she's in essence telling us don't be beholden to anybody. Absolutely. So what happens if we get that divorce? What what yeah. am I able to do out in society? Mm -hmm. What what am I what skill set mm -hmm. do I have other than shopping? Mm -hmm. Which I absolutely love to do, Vaughn. But um, <laughs> <laughs> when it's on sale. Right, uh, of course. But I, I've just always been that, that motivational person who always has yeah. to have different streams of income from myself. Mm -hmm. uh, and I believe in working along with a man. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't want to just sit around and be idle. Right. Yeah. Not, Can I not take a word back? I don't think it's deplorable. Let me take that back uh, for, to, to be a kept one of them. If that is, is that is what you choose, that's fine. But if you, if I feel like if you're always searching, like you break up with someone, then you're searching for the next person to be kept. That's, that's what deplorable. I think is deplorable. Yeah. Being a kept woman, Which baby, do you. Sometimes I look at someone, I do have a couple of people that I know that are kept women, like, ooh, that, ooh, what you got? What you he gonna buy that today? That's nice. You know, that's, you know, and so then I go back to my regular life and it's fine, I'm happy with my life as well. So I, don't want, yeah. I wanted to take that word yeah. back, yeah. Well, I, I just say this, uh, I'm, I'm probably gonna take it a little bit deeper because uh, I love this full circle, it's so amazing. <laughs> um, I love it. Um, but but I, I think that it's okay to have a man to step up and be a man for you, mm -hmm. right? It's awesome to, to have him to do that. Uh, I think there's a level of respect there, but I'm gonna talk, to, talk about respect, respect on both sides of the coin. Um, gifts are great. We all, we're women, we like mm -hmm. nice things, we like to be thought of, we like to be surprised. And we like for a man to offer us stability. Mm -hmm. um, where the challenge comes in at for me and how I was raised was that a woman is supposed to always have her own. My father has always taught me to be very independent. Mm -hmm. uh, he, t he also uh, stretched to me that, yeah, while you're very pretty, you need to do something with your mind and your hands. Mm -hmm. Pretty will fade. Mm -hmm. And so um, I do feel when there is, uh, when there are women who are constantly just looking for that next, that next, the next, that's where I, I do take up yeah. issue with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and, and the other thing is, I don't think that it is, um, I don't think it's a good environment, a good situation for her because we all know that people can roll roll over the next morning, just say, hey, I don't want this relationship anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't want this marriage anymore. And then if you're so uh, dependent on this one individual for all of your resources, what happens when that individual is no longer present or no longer willing and wanting to give to you? Yeah. Then now you're stuck in that whole big beautiful lifestyle that you thought you had was truly an illusion wow. that you could not provide for yourself, mm. okay? So I look at it a little bit differently. I think uh, just as I was raised, a woman should always work and have her own. Also, I think that when you do have your own uh, in any relationship, you, you are looked at differently. I, I do, I think a man may have a little bit more respect for you mm -hmm. because he knows like, oh, she don't really, really need me mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. like she doesn't. I think in every situation, you should always be a benefactor 
and never a liability. Hmm. And I think sometimes, and, and, and it's, it's tough anyway, just two people coming together, but when we're adding additional layers, uh, and, and then there's ego a little bit in that and, and a lot's going on, men can sometimes look at you like a liability. I've, I have girlfriends and I have guy friends and I've heard them say, my guy friends say, oh man, she don't really do nothing. She don't work, she don't clean up the house, she don't do nothing. She'll mm. cook either, she'll, she'll cook me. Nothing, either. nothing. And then I have girlfriends who at one point in time, while they, while they did have those boyfriends to take care of them, right? They looked at all the working girls like, you know, I was waiting tables in college. Mm -hmm. I'm just here to tell you. Mm -hmm. I was waiting. I really was. At Thursday through Sunday, I got my, my list. You got your coins together. I got mm -hmm. my coins all the way together. And Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, those were my heavy uh, hours in school. So I was able to focus on my, my education then. But Thursday through Sunday, I had lighter days on Thursday and Friday. And then the weekend, of course, I waited tables. But I had, I remember having a girlfriend who looked at me like, oh, you work? Yeah, I sure You're, do. Uh, like, oh my God. Like, it was like, like it was just so foreign to her. And she looked at me like, like I, I was doing the wrong thing. I don't know, no. I but just, then, I but like then when it came back around, yeah. And, and the man, you know what I'm saying, was like, look, I done moved on to old girl. Mm -hmm. And then you, she had to ask me for the rent money. Uh, but so it was, it was a different type of situation. And that just, that was a real, that's a real example a real that example. I'm giving. Yeah. Exactly. I do have a little caveat, though. Because while I do believe in working, I still believe in a man being a man. Yes. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, exactly. No, let's I, keep it all real. Because yeah. I mean, even though I'm a strong black woman, I'm not no strong black woman. Right. There's, there's, a, difference. A, there's, a, there's a complete difference. <laughs> I want you to. I want you to pay for dinner. I don't want to ask. Hey, do you want me to pay? No, because I'm not paying. Right. For dinner. And if I do, can you differentiate my those two one more time? Well, because I believe in having my no, own. No, I wanted you to do it again. Yeah, because I believe in being a strong black woman, and I mean, I'm a strong black woman. Right. right. There's a dip, there is a difference. There is a, a, there is a, difference. a distinct so, difference. Yeah, Even so look at how I said it. Yeah, like a, a complete difference. Mm -hmm. I don't need no man. Yes, I do. I need you, boo. Yes. I do. Yeah, and we don't want to mistake that for saying just because a woman goes out and earns wages that she yeah. doesn't need. And, and that's what I'm just trying to differentiate. Both parties you know. should be bringing something to, to the, the table. table. Yes. I agree. I'm I saying. agree. 100 but and 100. It won't be the check. Yes, 100 and 100, not 50 50. We'd love to hear how you feel. Send us your thoughts at Sister Circle TV.